more so than ever, map refreshes are going to be a huge in-game. And I'm just surprised to see such a, not, not a crazy stacker of an in-game follow-up, but still highly competitive as he does catch someone with their, you know, their awareness at an all-time low. And nice yeah. another one. They're cooking right now, follow In the low ground, exactly. they're cooking. He just took out Etheric MG. I, I love that person. Okay, bud. And Michael Scott. Michael okay. Scott here getting taken out. And, uh, you know, he missed 100% of the shots he don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott, and now he, he's just on fire right now. This is actually, but guess what? It's to the hands of Punisher, one of the best to do it for a very long time. Ever since, since way early on in the fall skirmish and summer skirmish series, Punisher's been mm -hmm. competing at a very top level. Big shout out to Complexity's Punisher. Make sure to follow his stream and show some support. He's going to knock down his opponent above him. And now opportunity to take high ground if he wants to try and choose it. He's instead going to stay low ground. He's sitting decent in mats, but not perfect. So I think staying low ground is the decision. Holding Ooh. right hand connects for the one pump to the face. And of course, not an actual pump. Very, very well done right there from Punisher. But now he's got to get back inside the zone and he's going to do some bounce, bounce pads to do that. I'm telling you, man, Pun's feeling good. He talked about his favorite game mode is duos. That is where the most success he's found in his career for this former partner, Landjock, back in the day, like you mentioned. So Pun is in his elements, and that charge shotgun is proving true. Does get some floppers here. It's a 2v1 situation. It's a matter of time before they wrap up this match here. They just got to be careful. That's the thing with the new meta. There's no more pump shotguns. There's only tack, charge, and a dragon shotgun. Dragon shotgun. The yep. only one that you have to be worried about at this situation is a charge shotgun because like you've been seeing pun with the epic level of a charge shotgun has been putting in the work and basically blasting people out of this lobby and just wait till you see it we already talked about you know in the heat one not a lot of people carrying the dragon shotgun but it's basically just with it's like shoots the dragon fire that you see in yeah. other battle royales so yeah. it'd be exciting to see if someone picks it up but i think pun and the boy right here are about to get a dub right in front of us here in the broadcast come on pun get that oh my goodness that's kind of scary. Gets beamed a little bit, but the opponent is on the outside. And there it is. Picking up the Victor Royale. Pun Pun looking solid. And that ended up costing us. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Play in tournaments exactly how you play in scrims. Whether it's Atlanta scrims or the Pro Chord, you name it. You have a chance to scrim. You have a chance to practice. Play the same way in DreamHack tournaments is my advice. Yeah, and here we are now. The camera's on Polga. Some of the top best duos in the region from Brazil. Top 20, Lelelo coming in sixth place in the FNCS trios on that side of the world. So really top players. And again, it's the, the, more of the issue of dealing with being off ping. Your builds may not be there. Your edits may be missed. So you kind of have to strip down your gameplay and kind of just stick to the basics and not kind of overextend yourself is once you start trying to make those changes and and trying to do an edit that you're used to making on your home server all of a sudden you get caught you miss it and you get bopped right in the grill but they're looking really good and this is where in these kinds of tournaments as well is you tend to kind of just stick with the you know leaning on placements and that's why you're seeing just two elims but when you play that way, you're going to have the hope that you at least get into top 10. Nice edit down play from Bulga. Catching someone in the box and a nice clean up. Hey, there it is. Holding on to that tack shotguns. All of a sudden, you turn your back and then you go down. And that's the difference, man. That pump, a power shotgun would have ended that fight a lot sooner. Oh, my goodness. Nice job throwing his teammate into safety. Got to get the revive soon, though. He's going to cone his teammate in, actually. Not so much. Oh, my gosh. Catch him off guard. Nice job right there. And that was actually Spegu, who we know as a competitive player. So, well done for the Brazilians against some competitive players. Portuguese. Portuguesa. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. Some Portuguese? Nope, that's all I got. Obrigado. <laughs> that's all I Bonjourno. got. That's all I got. I don't think that's Brat. Portuguese. That's probably Italian. You, Arrivederci. All right now, Fala, you're kind of blending in. I mean, you got to say bonsoir. And that is what we're going to do to that point and kind of focus <laughs> on what's going down right here. I'm, I'm just impressed. You know, we, we've seen like people in the Middle East kind of compete in the dream. We see King kind of do really well. The storm's going back. So things are looking good for the Brazilians, but they're going to be ultra aggressive. They don't care if they're all ping. They're going to do what they do best. And that is a W key dive box right, right in. And that player was not paying attention. They get a two piece. And now this is where you start racking up your limbs. Historically, in any kind of in-game, doesn't matter what the meta is, this is where you get the most Eve limbs here in the in-game situation because everybody it's this obvious thing to say is all kind of congested and being forced together by the almighty storm. Indeed, that's why we always talk about what's the one piece of advice we give to new players that are trying to qual. Well, make it to late game. Well
just like we uh, saw FNCS list. We got some trios. We got some great features in this new season five. It's been a lot of fun so far. Fallout here alongside the one and only Sancho West as we're getting into this late game. It all comes down to this high sky in the late game. I'm going to I'm going to keep close out my chat here so I can focus on this late game because high sky is popping off. He deserves some love. He deserves a lot of attention. He deserves that elimination. Five more points for him. If you white line it, you're going to have a lot of people on your left and right. But right now, they only have to focus on the right side. And Fallout, you mentioned, if you have that right side, that strong side Whoop. peak's looking good. And now they're going for height. Whoop. And they're going to break down height with a shockwave play. And now they have it. And they have total control of the rest of the game here for this moment. That's exactly right. This will be our last game for a quick break here. And we hope to end off with the bang. High sky. High damage is what he's looking for. Holding high ground. One of the youngest competitors in Fortnite playing for FaZe Clan, of course. Got signed very, very early on. And there it is. One elimination going to come through. It's a firing range. Getting the first very easy elim and a team fire. That's what I love about duos. Team fire coming through. And as a first elimination coming through. Two versus one. That should be an easy wrap up. I think we're going to see a victory royale. Yes, we do. High sky with a big win. This is kind of little things I'm noticing here and there Small that things. we're going. You know everything. You yeah, really you know yeah. everything. I mean, I gotta be observant as much as you, possible. You are a, co a commentator. Observing is important. But did yes. you know? Did you know, Sancho, that in DreamHack November, Furious spent five plus minutes alive with less than 50 HP in Endgame, the longest of any player. That's insane. That's what Furious does. Finds a way to survive. Finds a way to make it, no matter what the situation is. Can be in a horrible situation. Makes chicken soup out of chicken. You know what? It's very, very impressive. What we chicken know. Chicken scratch. Uh, chicken, chicken poop. I think we can say poop on broadcast. Chicken soup on a chicken. Is that is that appropriate? Inappropriate. Uh, you can say it with a straight face. Yeah, you can say. I, it I can. Yeah, I can say a lot of things with a straight. Because you're a professional. I like. I that. am a professional. If you say it with a straight face, then it's okay. If you if you laugh when you say it, then it's immature. Exactly. Exactly. Now that was nice. That was a nice high ground retake. And now speaking of those low HP, look at that. Not quite as low as 50. He does have shield, but using basic builds, kind of cranked like a 90 around some existing oh. structures. Going to catch someone, kind of contest what the bouncer play. That's a nice block here, but not enough firepower to slow down the Travis Scott outfit, pushing it. But this is going to be a big opportunity. It's just going to come down complete close again. Another 89 tag. And he gets the knock on Maximo. So that's very nice. Has a flopper here. This might be a strong opportunity, but because Maximo kind of went Ooh. out, I really do believe that the split was on. So now you can have someone back in the storm slide, uh, most likely healing up. Uh, and I think that's what happened. Furious felt the pressure. Indubitably well said. High ground, holding high ground. Well, the, that gets reserved for some of the best of the best. The Bizzles, the Zates of the world, the Benji Fishies. Now, of course, in this lobby, the Furious is in the River Sons. River, River Son, of course, former member of Bloom Gaming, the Bloom Boys, who burst onto the scene back in the summer skirmish and full, actually full skirmish, and since then signed by a variety of teams. You know, we of course had many players in that Bloom squad. One was River Son, who got picked up by Liquid. The new era of Team Liquid has been pretty solid for a lot of these players. You know, of course, we got TSM Commandment. We have Liquid Stretch, who won our last lobby. Well, the River Sons looking to end this one with the bang as well by sneaking into the top three if they can alongside Furious. A dominant, dominant controller player playing on an Xbox controller right now is Furious, holding high ground, maintaining it with a gold, with a gold, with a pretty good loadout. Really, all purples, all golds. Yeah, and this is loadout that with that heavy AR legendary, you're going to be able to have a very, very strong beam, and that's what's happening right now. And there it is. You got a little bit of a dicey situation. Unable to overtake height, pops a rifters considering they have another one. Got to do dodge some of these mm. shots here. And that is the danger though of rifting. As you can see that they kind of like what was happening to them, the the I guess the reverse card was played and now they're getting beamed out of height. But that is why it's so interesting that I'm like I'm kind of just I guess labbing this is like if you do too late, you will get beamed, and that's what happened right there. Exactly. If you go if you go too early. Ooh. Most likely, if you rift early Fallout, it's because Whoop. you're in shambles, and that's why holding on to height was such a big play for Furious and Riverson. And maybe that is what they're doing, and that is what's leading them to success. And now, look, yes, they're on low. It's going up a mountain here, right? Now it's going to go a little bit off it. But if it would have gone down south, that rift fish would have been their ultimate bailout card, as they're going to go ahead and pop it and get a very clean rotation. Just got to watch out for height, though, because it's going to be dangerous if they get popped in the air. Exactly. Sometimes you gotta be careful. My goodness, speaking of careful, that player better be careful as they almost got taken out right there. But Furious missed the opportunity. Misses that one as well. Not often you see Furious miss shots. Ooh. There it is. 171 straight to the face of the charge shotgun. Welcome back to the Fortnite charge shotgun. Jeff, goodbye. Is that, is that Asian Jeff? 
Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen the fresh Asian Jeff, but what I have seen is a lot of controller players. There is a, you know, a, people have this debate. What is a controller player going to use? Attack shotgun or charge shotgun? But a lot of the high caliber controller players in the Fortnite competitive scene have been using the charge shotgun Woo! because it hits so hard. 132 right then and there. And if you treat the charge shotgun like a pump shotgun, exactly. you could easily get some big tags. And the reach of a charge shotgun kind of goes like a little bit two and a half grand. So that thing bops from a distance and that's interesting to see i like charge shotguns in early game but now that i'm seeing a success in late game you know i might be picking up more and more that's what i'm saying i like bopping from a distance take a look at that not, not necessarily the bop you would have liked to have this is 75 tag still pretty that's strong true still solid the charge shotgun of course is like you said similar to the pump in terms of damage you can do but you just gotta charge it you just gotta charge it then you can bop it and it sounds like we're playing a, a game right now. Riverson low ground. I, I'd like to see this flip because Riverson plays on keyboard and mouse. I'd like to see the controller player actually being the one that's pushing down for aggro. Instead, based on loadout, they kept Furious on top. Didn't even matter because Furious got the... So script and Ooh. problem, 594 points, only one victory royale, but really it goes to their placements, an average placement of seven out of their seven games played. Furious and Riverson representing Liquid, of course, in second place with 583 points, three victory royales between the two of them.